excited to share my winter foundation routine. Things do change a little bit for me in the winter time because my skin gets very dry. But I'm still very oily at the same time. I do have oily to combo skin all year round, but during the winter time, the dryness really starts to come through. My skin will get so dry, like around my chin area, that it will want to peel. But my T-zone will still be very, very oily. So I do have to switch some things up for the winter time to make sure I'm really hydrating my skin. I do have a few dry patches around my chin. The weather down here is crazy normal Texas weather. It's hot and humid. And then before you know it, here comes the rain and a cold front comes through and then in a couple of days it'll be warm again and that really affects my skin so i really wanted to share what products i'm using right now and what works best for me during the winter time okay so let's get started during the winter my moisturizer in the morning changes i use the clinique dramatically different moisturizer and to be quite honest typically what happens is I make the switch on the moisturizer whenever I wake up in the morning and my skin is screaming for some moisture. And I'll stop using it once the patchiness goes away and I can get that moisture under control. Now, it is not an oil-free moisturizer, which can be kind of scary if you have oily skin because you're thinking, how am I going to put this oily moisturizer on my skin that's already oily? But this stuff soaks into your skin it does not feel oily or greasy at all which is amazing okay so once my face is fully moisturized it is time to prime and i have been using the clean slate timeless smoothing primer from tarte guys this stuff is amazing so like i said my skin is oily to combo so in my t-zone i have to apply a mattifying primer and this stuff is amazing so no matter how many dry patches i have my t-zone is super oily so this stuff has been a lifesaver it mattifies my face significantly in conjunction with the foundations i'm about to show you i don't have to blot until about one which is amazing for me because i do not set with a powder during the winter time so this stuff is amazing what i like to do with it is apply it all over my face and really smooth it out it helps create a smooth canvas to start working with and then i like to take a little bit more and tap it into the areas where i have larger pores because this stuff really fills in your pores. It makes your skin look flawless and smooth. I am obsessed with it. Okay, moving on to foundation. I love mixing foundations together. Like, I truly love it. And for the winter time, this combination is amazing. This is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid and the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. What I've noticed about the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, it doesn't keep you super, super matte especially compared to the MAC Studio Fix that is going to keep you almost powder-like matte. So I love mixing these two together because my skin does need some moisture and if I use the Studio Fix all by itself, my face will look very cakey during the winter It'll cling on to my dry patches and that's not cute. I really love mixing these together because the Maybelline Matte and Poreless really helps give my face a natural look. I do look very matte, but there's like this natural glow that's coming through that I'm obsessed with. I love both of these. This combination here is absolutely full coverage. Also, I get a lot of questions about what pump this is on my Maybelline Matte and Poreless and it is a MAC pump. It does not fit perfectly on there, but it does the job. Okay, I'm also going to talk about concealer because that is part of my foundation routine that I do absolutely every single day. And the concealer is probably no surprise to you guys. It is the L'Oreal True Match, and this one is an N45 Light Medium. I'm still obsessed with this concealer. It has the most beautiful natural finish. It also provides that glow from within. Even though I look very matte, there's still this glow that's seeping through and I'm obsessed with it. I love this concealer. I love how it pairs with my undertones. If you haven't tried the L'Oreal True Match yet, you need to. I blend out concealer with brushes, sponges, fingers, but I really love blending this out with my fingers first. And if I have to go in with a brush to help blend it out, I will. 
but I feel like when you blend it in with your fingers, it just like melts into your skin and it looks more natural. Love it. Okay, last but not least, and this probably goes for any foundation routine, setting spray. I feel like you work so hard, you put all of these products on your face, you want it to last, right? So my go-to setting spray is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. I love this stuff. I kid you not when I say, it works just as good as the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. It is going to extend the wear of your makeup. Since I am using matte foundations, I find it to help keep me matte even longer throughout the day. So, this stuff is amazing. Alrighty, well that wraps up my winter foundation routine. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to know if you are oily to combo as well. What are some products that work great for you during the winter time? And if you happen to have dry skin, definitely leave us some comments down below. For other viewers that are watching that have dry skin, let them know what are your favorite products to use and maybe they can learn something new from you. Alrighty, well that's a wrap for 12 Days of Christmas with me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below because that gets you another entry into the giveaway and we are almost there, my friends. I'm so excited and you guys are so awesome. Y'all are so supportive. I love interacting with you guys in the comment section down below throughout this entire series. You guys have made it fun. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.